You know what's really crazy about this dish? I get cheese out of this. Like a three cheese or a four cheese medley or something. And there's not any cheese in this at all. This is absolutely amazing. Mm. All these flavors come together. Perfect. Definitely making this again. Hey everyone, welcome back to Angela's Kitchen. Today we are gonna be making a homemade pasta sauce. We make this once a week, maybe twice a month, depending on how our month's going. But it is just the best homemade pasta sauce I've ever had. It's easy and delicious, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So the first thing you'll want to do is get out a pan. This one is a little bit deep. I'd say it's about an inch and a half deep, and it's quite large. So put that on your oven or on your stove, and then turn it up to medium high and let that kind of warm up a little bit. All right, our oil is heated up enough, so we're gonna put about two tablespoons of butter. You can put two to three tablespoons, but I prefer it with two. And then three garlic cloves. These are just the frozen ones. It's just easier and I'm lazy. There we go. So we're gonna let that heat up. All right, kinda hear that sizzling? Now it's time to put in the cherry tomatoes. I just got a pack of cherry tomatoes from the grocery store and put them in here. So we're gonna put this on top. Put it down to about medium heat and let that simmer for eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so this is starting to boil. I also put a lid on top because I was starting to get splashed by oil and that is not a very great feeling. Um, but even with the lid on, you can smell this. I wish that there was smell a vision right now that you could smell, it's so garlicky and oh, it is, my house is smelling amazing. So now we're gonna put the pasta in. This is the pasta that I have. Um, so I'm gonna take, I, I feel like even if I were to grab two pastas, it would multiply to four, so I never actually know how much to get. Uh, there was something about like, put it through the end of a spatula. I don't really understand that. So I just grab about this much, and I'm a child, so. I like to break mine in half so I don't have to worry about getting pasta all over my face. Throw that in there. And then I'm gonna put a little olive oil on top so that they don't stick together. Turn this down to about medium heat as well and wait about the same time that this, the pasta will be ready by the time the sauce is ready. So it's perfect timing we're at right now. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Once the tomatoes start to wilt, that's when it's time to move on to the next step. All right, so the tomatoes are wilted down. You can see the skin is starting to get pruny, like you've just gotten out of a pool for eight hours. You're starting to get real pruny, right? So now the next step is to add one cup of heavy cream. And half a cup of white wine. This is Chardonnay and um, this isn't just half a cup. I actually measured out half a cup, but it turned out to be also half a cup. So we're gonna put that on top. Go. All right, moms, don't worry about the wine being in there. It's gonna burn off. Um, also for you moms that are like, ooh, we're putting wine in there. Maybe I'll get a night to myself. It doesn't work that way, I'm sorry. So now we are going to move back to the tomato sauce. And I have actually turned it down to low. I have a slotted spoon and we're just gonna go in here and crush all the tomatoes. Just crushing. This is gonna give it the flavor. I actually take the tomatoes out because my boys don't like tomatoes. But it gives a great color and some delicious flavor. Can you hear them when I squeeze on them? Hear them popping? So you're just trying to get the juice out of it then? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, and try not to miss any. So I go over it a few times because you can't see them. But that's just an added bonus if you get full on. Sure, if you like tomatoes. <laughs> Nobody likes tomatoes. What? Oh, our family does not like them. We're gonna strain these out. Oh, I'll, I'll give you all the tomatoes about that. Right. You can have all of them. I'll take it. <laughs> 
let it simmer on low for a few minutes. All right, so now I'm checking on my noodles. They're not quite ready yet. So we're gonna let them go for a few more minutes. Make sure you put the tomato sauce on low or else it'll burn and it won't taste very good. I also poured myself a glass of Chardonnay, so I'm going to enjoy this while you guys watch this boil. So I'm just gonna add salt and pepper to it real quick. Give it a quick stir and our sauce is ready. So I'm going to, ooh, that's a little hot. Uh, all right, I'm going to bring it over here. And I have a bowl that I'm straining the tomatoes in because my family does not like tomatoes, but my dad's here, so he's gonna eat the tomatoes. So we're just going to start straining it. It's a slow process. You do not want to splash this off of this because it's really hot. Okay, now taking that same ladle, or whatever this is, you're just going to move it around to get all of the sauce out. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. It's like, it smells like garlic and Chardonnay and tomatoes all mixed together. Yeah, it really does. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I just want to eat it right now. All right, I got the noodles. They're also ready. We're going to use that same strainer because we don't want an enormous amount of dishes and we're just going to strain the noodles into there. Clearly I didn't mix it well enough. I'll grab those in a second. And then bring it over to the bowl that our sauce is in. Dump it in there. Grab these extra noobs on the bottom. Stir it up. And now we just plate it. All right, so I have changed it. I don't, I no longer need the holes in it. So we're just gonna go like so. Um, this is really good with like a three cheese tortellini or a farfalla. I just don't have either of those on hand today. So we're just going with spaghetti noodles. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can add Parmesan on top. Again, I don't have that. Um, you can add um, prosciutto if you want to have a meat option in there. Bacon works really well in there. Anything that you really want to put in there, it'll work perfectly fine. So, I'm actually gonna give this to, do, to the dude to try. All right, Dad, the moment of truth. Try this out, and then you're going to chase it with some Chardonnay. Mm. That's actually amazing. Here, try that with it. This like brings out the flavor even more. Yeah. Yeah, those two go perfect. Okay. This is Chardonnay. So this is perfect for a date night, family get together. You just wanna have carbs. Um, you don't need an excuse to have carbs and wine. So it's perfect. Feeding your old man. <laughs> Feeding your old man. I mean, mm. you are making the video, so I have to feed you every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm. God, that is really good. <laughs> all right, now you gotta go to the table. You're getting it all over. Oh, that's what you have a dog for. <laughs> all right, guys, Bye. this is really good. Thank you, Angela. Absolutely, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications, all that good stuff. You're watching Angela's Kitchen on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. We'll talk to you later. The Dude abides.